Hello Superheart and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I, I mean, I guess just Ultra Sun, but it feels cooler if I say both of them, doesn't it? Either way, thank you so much for watching the first episode. Now we're here in the second episode where we will, uh, I don't know, we'll do something. Hey dude, I forget your voice. If you two can walk in harmony with each other, you can go anywhere together. I was just trying to make his voice as deep as I possibly can. Hi. I really, um, really appreciate what you did for, for us back on the Plank Bridge. I won't forget you and Linton. Hello. Now that you met up with Goku, I can't wait to see how far you can go as a Pokemon trainer. Yeah, I totally forgot what we were supposed to be doing. Oh yeah, Zebra, hold up a sec, here we go. Oh, so Town, how you doing? Wait, what is it, Tao? Did you forget something? You're seriously asking me that? Who's the one here who forgot to tell anyone before wandering off for a little stroll? And to sing with a word, huh? Without a word. <laughs> hmm, Zebron. Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Oh, he's got some good eyes on him. you think his bushy eyebrows might get in the way, but no. Could it be? Tutu, is that? Tutu, <laughs> what? You, you were rescued by the Tapu Koko, or you were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Zebron? Oh uh, yeah, rescued me. That's when I got that stone. Okay. So it even de it even Jane to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola, Zebron, because this is where you were meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you by tomorrow evening. Okay, well, I'll let it happen, but only just this once, buddy. Uh, you have the makings of a brilliant trainer. I can see that light within you, too. You must do us an honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if it'll mess with my schedule. I'll get a lot of things going on. Probably gonna be sleeping at that point. First, I'll make sure that you get back home safe today, though, Zebra. Lily, you two should come with us, too, yeah? Wouldn't want you to go losing you twice in one day. You are that, or you, you are that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on... Mm-hmm. What you saying? You're gonna keep an eye on who? Oh, you! Would you not try to escape every moment that you were told not to wander off? Ah, uh, silly Nevi. Classic. Okay. Well, we're back home now. That, that seagull keeps flying around the same path every time. Okay. So we're indoors now. Welcome back, Zebra. So what do you think of Kahuna Holland? Oh. And look at what you've got with you. I got a replacement cat. Oh, I just realized we're replacing now. I didn't mean to do that. That's so mean. Uh-oh. <laughs> it came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. That's right. Uh, right here on, oh, right there on route one. I'm choosing the second one just because it might be different. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been faith that you met. Maybe. Maybe it was just lucky happenstance. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. Uh-oh. Sometimes cats get along, sometimes they just hate each other forever. I'm hoping they'll get along. Oh, what was that little jingle for? The next day, I guess that's our taking a nap jingle. The next day. Again. What a stunning sunset. All right, boys, the, the, today's the day I finally unpack. I don't know where I read the word boys from, by the way. <laughs> was that a doorbell? Go see who it is, Zebra. Oh, you always make me do everything. You just want to take a tan. All right. Where is uh, the door? Not this door, right? Or is it this door? No, th this is the door to the bedroom. <laughs> I, I got a door, all right. The door to my bedroom so I can go take a nap. I don't get any snacks in there, for, though, so I gotta adventure the kitchen. I'm gonna leave. The, I'm gonna meet this person. Wait, a new fridge bought here, no, right here in Alola. Okay, cool. I mean, I don't care where the fridge was bought. I just care if there's food in it. It looks like it's probably food, but when did Mom buy it? I mean, maybe she got it delivered. Um. Oh, I guess whoever knocked on the door is gonna let themselves in. Thanks. You're giving me a real sense of security here, Kukui. Hey there, Zebra. It's about time we set off for the festival. Yeah. But first, I've got something to teach you. And yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer. It's the most basic of all the basics. Come on to Route 1. All right. Hi. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Oh, Mom, it's not a Pokemon pal. It's Charco. 
Me and Meowth will sure be, we'll be sure to unpack every last box here, you'll see. I'm gonna come back and there's gonna be somehow more boxes. She's still taking a tan. <laughs> the cat does not want any uh, part of this. Like, I'm not unpacking nothing. I got my litter box. That's the only box I need to unpack. <laughs> Zebra, hurry up, uh, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Uh, that's okay. I'm fine being a zebra. I don't need to be a Pokemon. I wanna, what's back here? I wanna see if there's like any secrets anywhere. Like maybe I could find more items if I look thoroughly enough. I'm not really sure. Um, but it looks like I'm going this way. He's already chilling out in the sunset. Oh, okay. So we're going to the uh, tall grass. Back in Route One. Yeah, over here. What's over here? So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out of you in the tall grass, yeah? Now that you've got a lit in there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try to catch them too, woo! I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, all right? Keep your eyes on the prize. Okay. Um, let's do it. So he's just gonna show me, I'm not, whoa, whoa, what is that thing, a wild grubbin? It's sort of adorable, but also really weird. Oh, it's a puppy, I forgot. So he's gonna make it fight. And he's gonna tackle. He's gonna lower its health until he can capture it. We know. We're Pokemon masters. Okay. Sooner or later, we'll be able to get through the uh, the thick of the, the tutorials and stuff. I know this game does go a little bit slow at the beginning. That's sort of just how all Pokemon games are. But it'll, uh, you know, you know. It would be interesting if they finally start letting you just skip this stuff. But I guess, you know, they don't want maybe younger players who are new. <laughs> Look at his stats. He is so full of himself. He just makes his own way into our home without really letting anybody open the door. He just stands around with that stance. He's just totally full of himself. I don't know him very well, but that's the reading I get. Gotcha, Grubbin was gone. All right, cool. Uh, I don't really care much because it ain't my Grubbin, but I'm not grabbing that Grubbin. <laughs> okay. All right, got myself a Grubbin. Wow, Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they cl get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah. And if your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit, yeah. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. All right, cool, thank you. You obtained 10 Pokeballs. You open the Poke, or the oh, items pocket and put the Pokeballs away inside. You obtained five potions, thanks. You open up the medicine pocket and put the potions away inside. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Icky Town, yeah? Take good care of Zebra Litten. All right, well, we'll work together. So I, I apparently, oh, oh, okay, here we go. No, 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 wait. Oh yeah, I wanna save. I didn't really press all the right buttons there. All right, we're saved. I wanted to see um, if I can check out my Pokemon really quick. All right, so I have Charco. Let's see a summary of Charco. Okay, so, huh. Lots of numbers I'm not really recognizing here. Pokedex number four, name Linton, type fire. OT is Zebra, ID number is 4923345. Uh, experience points, where, where can I find like, like the gender and stuff? That's what I wanted to know. Uh, maybe they don't give you that info? Oh no, right there in the bottom. Okay, so uh, Charco's a boy, cool. All right, well, that's what I wanted to say. Oh, it says it right there on the little screen as well. Okay, well, now I know. Charco's a boy. Now I can start referring to him as he, and that'll be easier. All right, so we're going into a battle is it also against one of the, the Grubbin Bubbins. Yes, it is, Grubbin. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna go and capture every Pokemon or anything. I think I'm just gonna, you know, play the game and enjoy it. I don't really think I want a Grubbin. It'd be cool if maybe there's a way I can find out more about it, but now that we've encountered it, I think we can. Either way, let's fight. We'll go ahead and scratch. And honestly, like I have no plan, because I honestly don't know what Pokemon are in this game at all. I don't know if it's all new Pokemon, because I'll be honest, my favorite Pokemon, a lot of people think it's Zebstriker, which, yeah, it's a cool Pokemon, but come on, I'm not that much of a narcissist, am I? Maybe. But I gotta, I can't deny that Buizel is like the cutest Pokemon ever. And I, I think they're only in Diamond and Pearl. I don't think they're in any other game. Either way, this should be a grass type, right? I should be able to use uh, fire to should burn them up. Charco used Amber, burn them up. Ready? Ooh, buddy. Okay, it's super fun to see you, Grubbin. I ain't capturing you. 
Uh, Charco gained 33 experience points. So yeah, I really don't know what my plan is. I'm sort of just diving head first in this, not really thinking too much about what Pokemon I'll get. I figure if I see a cool Pokemon that I really like, I'll definitely just get it without a second thought if I had the Pokeballs in the right situation. We found a Pokeball, cool. Uh, you open the item pocket and you put the Pokeball away inside. Awesome. So what's gonna go on through here then? We have another Grubbin? I hope not. Oh hey, you're so adorable, a Pinky Pack. Oh, I might want you. Let's go ahead and get this a shot. I'm not super effective against flying, so maybe it'd be good to take something that, you know, contains something I'm not strong against. I don't know how to explain that, but let's just go ahead and do a normal scratch, just like that, and that won't take you out, but it gets you in the yellow, which is sort of what I want. Let me just try to toss a Pokeball at him and see what happens. No, not Pokemon, but if I go to bag, um, Pokeball. And, oh, I have 11 of them, cool. See if we use the Pokeball. And we're gonna catch Pokepeck. Oh, hopefully, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I got him. I don't know, no, it's Peaky Peck. Okay, I'm gonna rename him Pokepeck because I like that better. Charco gained 10 experience points, cool. So he's almost at level eight already, which is fantastic. Peaky Peck's data will be added to the Pokedex. Okay, cool. Picky Pack. Registered. Oh, I like the rainbow text. That's cool. Woodpecker Pokemon. Height, I guess one foot. Weight 2.6 pounds. It pecks at trees with its hard beak. You can get some idea of its mood or condition from the rhythm of its pecking. All right, and we can make it do like little things. Like I can make it, make this little cry. Oh, oh, look, it has a little, little thing. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Okay, um, it's normal and flying as well. Oh, this is so cool. Well, can we get rid of Donnie? Oh, huge. All right then, uh, would you like to give Peaky Peck a name? Of course, we're gonna call him Pokey Peck or something. And uh, yeah, let's do Pokey Peck. There we go, I like Pokey Peck better instead of Peaky Peck. He, he's a different one and it is a he, so um, I'm trying to remember that. Pokey Peck is with our team. So now we have a flying. And while I keep that Pokemon forever, I'm not really sure if it seems like it's the right idea. Should we go in one more time to see if there's any more Pokemon we can find? I guess, well, we're doing it. <laughs> All right, so, what are we gonna get this time? Oh, it's another Grubbin. So maybe, okay, so I think, I think flying is good against Bug as well. Um, Maybe I should go into my bag. I should, what, mm, I should fight. Scratch, and that way I can heal Pokey Peck this next turn, and then maybe have Pokey Peck attack. Like I don't know if that's how I should do it, or maybe I should have started with Pokey Peck and then switched Pokey Peck over. Because if I use a potion on, oh maybe I'm, I'm thinking too soon here. Maybe I should just take this guy out, and I'll worry about Pokey Peck soon enough. Because the Pokey Peck is level two, which is really low level. I don't know how I'm gonna level him up, other than maybe just having him in my party first and foremost, so he's a part of every battle. I think that's how it works. Unless it has to be the Pokemon who takes care of the other Pokemon gets all the experience, but I don't think that's how it is. I think every Pokemon that's a part of the battle, whether it be very inclusive or not, gets to be, um, what's it called? Gets some experience. So, I think that's just what we'll try to do in a moment. Let me, uh, pause then, and then go to our bag. And then, oh, am I doing the wrong thing? Yes, I am. We need to go to Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I should have went to the Pokemon tab, not the bag. All right then, so. Which Pokemon do I want to move? This one here. Okay, so now Pokepeck is in front. And also, since I let you guys know my favorite Pokemon, Bweasel, you guys should let me know yours. Oh, hello, are you a trainer? Oh no. This ain't good. Maybe I should use a potion. Okay. Um, let's get a bag out. And then potion, use this item on Charco. And then same thing for Poke Pack. There we go. We're good. I know it can use to like restore 20, but I'm not really too worried. Okay, so let's go ahead and take you on. Oh gosh, this is scary. Intense. Oh. When the eyes of a Pokemon trainer meets, you know what's going to happen, right? A Pokemon battle! 
Oh my. You're gonna make your Pokemon dizzy if you keep throwing the ball around like that. That's just rude to the Pokemon. All right, well, we're facing. You're challenged by Last Audrey. Cool. Fancy little uh thing. <laughs> Last Audrey sent out Paneri. Oh, that is so adorable. Look at you, you're not new. You're just a normal Pokemon. Okay, so now we got this guy. We are going to immediately, I think Paneri is a normal type? Seems like it, so either of a Pokemon would be fine against normal type. I don't, even know what, I don't even know what normal type is strong or weak against. I think maybe like some kind of like ghost spooky type. I think they're strong against it, ow. Oh, that didn't hurt much. Okay, Charco, take him down. Oh, we got Lick. That's a ghost type. So maybe she is strong against us. Ooh, the opposing Baneer used Splash. Uh, but nothing happened. Yeah, that's what you get. So what does Lick do? Um, L plus A gives me move info. Okay, the target is licked with a, t a long tongue, causing damage. This may also leave the target with paralysis. Let's try this out. All right, Charco used Lick. It doesn't affect, oh, so yeah. Do I guess, what well, was that, Dark or that was Ghost? Whatever it is, isn't good against normal. That was Ghost, so Ghost doesn't do anything against normal. But now we can use Fire, and I know I'm a total noob at Pokemon, but I warned you in the first episode, I haven't played any Pokemon games, so. Gain 22 experience points. Pokepec gained 50, yeah, level three for our Pokepec buddy. He learned Growl as well. Will he get level four? You defeated last Audrey, he will not. Oh, your Pokemon looks so happy that they won. You received 70, $72 for winning. Maybe you should have chosen another person to battle because we're a fierce team. All right, see ya. Can I talk to you? The more you battle other trainers, the more powerful your Pokemon will become. I noticed, so I can't go over there. The camera angles can be weird. Oh, so I can walk around you for the choice of, oh, you know what, I'm a go-getter, I'm gonna do both. All right, kid, you wanna battle? Go for it, Caterpie, show me the power of bug-type Pokemon. Ooh, I think flying is good against bug. We'll give it our best shot. If a Pokemon faints, will they still receive experience? Look at this kid. He is determined. You were challenged by youngster Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, how you doing? Youngster Jimmy sent out Caterpie. Oh, Caterpie, okay, yeah, I know this one. This one's fire red. All right, so let me fight. Let's try Peck. I think flying is good against Bug. Let's see. Peck, Peck, Peck. Ooh, okay, it is super effective. The opposing Caterpie used Tackle. Oh no, oh no, ow. Okay, that wasn't bad. <laughs> uh, let's try it again then. And we should be able to win like that as long as you only have one Pokemon. It definitely seems like it. And you're done for. Don't even need Litten. Even though I think Fire is also good against Bug. Pokepeck gained something. Wait, what, what is Karen? There's a Care button. I just pressed Y. Um, what is Karen? You defeated youngster Jimmy. I lost with my bug type Pokemon. You really, you're really bugging me, you know. You received sixty dollars for winning. Okay. Yeah. What was the little care button? I pressed Y. Oh, hey. Um. Give your Pokemon tender, loving care. Pet them gently and make them very affectionate towards you. Uh, give Pokemon Poke Beans. Really. <laughs> Okay, Pokemon love to eat them. You can get them in the cafe area in any Pokemon Center. Pokemon can get dirty while they battle. When that happens, make them clean with the, the grooming tools. It also heals status conditions such as poisoning or paralysis. You can switch Pokemon, you can switch the Pokemon you care for. Pokemon that become very affectionate will battle with zest. Make a lot of Pokemon affectionate towards you. Weird. So let me get the style sound. I'm very, not very good with touch screens. I'm sure you guys know by now. Uh, so I can get like a brush. This is the, oh, I, I don't know how I'm gonna include this. I gotta like remember to include this in the editing. Uh, medicine for healing status conditions for grooming. All right, so this is what I need to get rid of. <laughs> I love Pokepec. It's like, mm, yeah, that's the spot. That's my belly. Good, good, good. And I'm almost got it. Awesome, yay, you're so happy. I don't have any beans, so. That's all you get. See ya, Pokey Peck. Get Peck. There you go. I love my new bird pal. He's the best. I love Pokey Peck. I wonder if he evolves. Cause I know some Pokemon evolve and some don't. I think the ones that evolve are way more interesting, obviously. Oh, I didn't get caught by a Pokemon there. That's good. He found a potion. Cool. I'm gonna eventually need that, I'm sure. Maybe we should run into one more Pokemon. I mean, I don't know how much we should be grinding. I figure I'll try to keep it relatively natural. Oh, hey. There's a Peaky Peck. 
Go Pokey Peck. We should be able to get him this time. Oh no, oh gosh, this actually might be a bad idea. So we should switch our Pokemon into Charcom. And Charcom, you're gonna be able to help me out here, aren't you? Poke Peck, switch out, come back. Sorry, but you can't face your own bird, brethren. It's too harsh on your poor little psyche. Okay, so this shouldn't hurt too much. I don't think flying is, like I think flying and uh, fire are pretty neutral to each other. All right, boom. Wow, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> that almost took him out. Was it, that wasn't super effective. I just think we're powerful against him. Unless I'm wrong. Use Demer. Boom. And that's gonna faint. Okay, yeah, it didn't say it was super effective. All right, we gained 26 experience points. I don't think I need to care, but it looks like I have the opportunity to whenever. I don't know how often I should do that because I'm not gonna want to edit <laughs> the screen in every single time. Uh, but for now, we can move this way. Okay, well, what is this about? We got Route Oh, this is Route 1. Okay, we made our way all the way around. Oh, hey, puppy. Hi. Rockruff is staring at you. What'd you like to do? Turn to the right, stare at it, wave goodbye, change position, stare at it. Hi. How you doing, puppy? Rockruff is staring at you. What would you like to do? Change positions? Oh, there you go. What would you like to do? Wave goodbye. Goodbye, puppy. All right. Is this your puppy? Rockruff is really a, is a really friendly Pokemon. You should try playing with it a bit soon. Well, I'll try turning to the right and see what happens. Just turn to the right. Oh. Oh, is it gonna turn to? Ah, oh, you're so cute. You're, you're adorable. Rockruff seems to wanna play more with you. What would you like to do with Rockruff? Turn to the right, turn to the left, stare to play peekaboo, wave goodbye. Let's play peekaboo. Oh. Oh, I gotta press the button. Hello! Hey, okay, we win. I don't think you can win Peekaboo. What would you like to do with Rockruff? Wave goodbye. Goodbye! I'm done with you. Hey, Rockruff is happy. Okay, so, yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be going down this way. Yeah, there's a kid here. The festival in Niki Town is gonna start any minute now. We should hurry up and go. Don't tell me what to do, kid. Oh no, you're gonna teleport me there? Oh no, okay, you're just gonna tell, you're gonna just slightly push me over. Okay, this person wants to go, is this? Yeah, I think this is a small child, not like a small old lady. That's what it looked like for a moment. Hey, please battle me. This is. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Air charge by preschooler Oliver. Okay. I guess everybody can battle, even a preschooler. Oh my, it's 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 a it's a mouse with a mustache. Did that say a Lolan Rattata? It's a Rattata, I guess it's an Alolan Rattata. Now he's normally flying, right? No, 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 he's not flying, he's normally normal. <laughs> right, so, ooh, that hurt him a lot. You're gonna use Tackle, oh, oh that hurt too. Oh, let's just do another peck then. All right, there you go. You take your mustache out of here, sorry kid. We win. We get 23 experience points, it's not another level up, but we're, we're making our way through the levels. Ah, oh, if you're strong, please go away. <laughs> Receive 36 bucks for win, and nice taking a kid's money. That is awful though. Okay, well, we got that done. Who are these people? Oh, these are the people that were chasing the little girl on Lily, maybe? I don't know. So this is this is what they call a festival. It doesn't look like people are having fun. Not that they should, as though this was any time to celebrate. Um Oh my, we got some stormtroopers over here. You don't have to try so hard to act like you're not interested, you know. Maybe a festival isn't so bad sometimes. The aura measurements are pretty high too. Are they? It is only thanks to the Binding One. The Blinding One that Alola is overflowing with such brilliance. Though the Blinding One is left in such a state now, so dark and enfeebled. We've just gotta make sure that blinding one can shine like it used to again, right? So let's get started by having a look around. What? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Uh, hey, you guys are creepy. You are likewise new to the shores of Alola, a fellow traveler from a distant land. How did you know? Oh wow, are they actually robots? They walk like robots. Weird, okay, we got ourselves a, oh, I couldn't get it, darn. 
I, I'll get to it, don't worry. Oh my, okay, so here's a Caterpie. Personally, I don't know, I don't think I want a bug type unless they're really cool. I know there's one, and I think Diamond and Pearl that looks like a Venus flytrap that's really cool. All right, oh wow, it actually tells you on the screen now if it's super effective, so I guess I don't have to worry about knowing for myself. Awesome. So it did say it was super effective. I sort of knew that though. Pokebeck gained 10 experience points, all right. Which is good, because Pokebeck's getting a little low on health here. Okay, so we're making some fantastic progress so far, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. You you found a Paralyze Heal. You open up the medicine pocket and put the Paralyze Heal away inside. Oh, no, I'll get another battle. Is it gonna be another Caterpie? Probably. Let's see. Ooh, oh hey, it's the Baneary. That's cute. I don't think I need it though, because we already have Pokepeck here, which is also a normal type. Oh, well, Pokepeck Dune, you will peck. It won't be super effective, but that's fine, because it'll hopefully just do a fair amount of damage where you have more than double your level, so. What is this gonna do? But nothing happened. Why do you do that so much? Maybe, maybe I don't want Baneary. <laughs> They're just gonna jump around and not do anything. They don't even know they're in a battle. Baneary faints it. Sorry, you're so adorable, but I gotta go. I gotta go to the festival. You're stopping me from doing that. Okay, well, there's that done. Let's go check out this festival. Excuse me. Okay, I didn't get attacked again. That's great. All right. Ooh. Oh, hey, look at this. Whoa, what in the world is that thing? It's huge. It's, uh, I have no idea what I just saw there. But everybody seems to be having a good time, even the people we slaughtered in battle. Oh, hey! It's a uh, Papua. No. <laughs> it's a Crash Bandicoot. Hala. The Alola region is made up of four islands. And each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it the festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. I guess that's true. Small town gatherings, huh? Hello. Well, we may, you always just repeat the last thing you say. All right, so we already read that. We got some children hanging on. Woohoo, a festival! I wish every day was a festival. What kinds of Pokemon are going to battle? I'm so excited. Whoa, is there Pokemon battles? Cool. So what's inside of here? This is another person. My Rockruff is the best bodyguard ever. She always comes with me when I go shopping and she lies outside my door when I sleep. Aw, that's cute. The bond between a person and their Rockruff. Rockruff, there was a wild Pokemon when we got her, but now she's like a part of the family. When I see her roughhousing with my little girl, I can't help but smile. Aw, you got anything in your fridge? No, <laughs> I'm just here for the food, lady. Okay, so there's that. Should we go into all the houses that are really worthwhile? I'm sure one of them will give us something. Sometimes I got this feeling, this sense of being watched over by the guardian deity. I'm sure you do. Tapu Koko just loves Pokemon battles, watching them and having them. So yeah, that's probably why we're all having some. Everyone's saying we should fix the bridge, but we don't have any good lumber. I mean, you got trees all over the place, but I understand. Not always good good idea to knock down trees. Animals have their, inhabit, their environments within them. I ate every last bite of my Alola Yakisoba. Sounds good. If anyone can have a good battle that makes a Pokemon happy, it's town. All right, so let's go into this house as well, because it's here, why not? Oh, hello. Got an old man and woman. Opening a window lets night come creeping in. If you leave one open, it'll make you sleepy. Okay. Ah. <sighs> On lovely, calm days like this one, I always think of my brother. When we were young, he always worked so hard to collect sand from the beach. Where could he be now? What must he be doing? Maybe he's still collecting sand from the beach. Maybe you left him there. And he's just like, okay, I just keep collecting sand until she comes back. Okay, well, there's that done. There's a house over here, and then we'll talk to Hound. How about we talk to Hound? Or maybe we won't. Maybe I'll just ignore him. Hello. It's said that ancient peoples rode over the waves and seas together with their Pokemon to settle the Alo to settle the Alola region. Maybe, I wasn't there. Hello. Different people interact with Pokemon in their own different ways. Some may see them as allies in battle while others just enjoy sharing their lives with them. Okay, cool. So we will go ahead and talk to Hao and see what he's up to, but I think we'll do that in the next episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Or no, Pokemon Ultra Sun 
and Ultra Moon. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Bird so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebratastic viewer. And check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.